What's up guys, Dax Berlay here. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can turn your at-home YouTube lighting setup from this into this with stuff that you can find at home. Let's do it. Let's go. Bet. Yo. So, you're just starting in YouTube, kind of just like me, and you want a good lighting setup so you can get more viewers. So I'm going to show you guys how you can use stuff at home that you have to make a lighting setup just like this that's a lot more cinematic so that your viewers can enjoy watching your videos. So what does it comprise of? So pretty much there's simply three basic lights in this video. The first one's going to be your main key light. So the key light is always the main source brightening me up. So for example here, you can see the key light is really getting all this soft light along my body. What you don't want though is hard light. Hard light is not good for simple videos like this. It's it's more of an artistic thing, but what hard light is is like, for example, when you're in the harsh sunlight and you see someone just out and you see those harsh shadows, that's not what you want. Here you can see how the shadows gracefully fall off my face. Make sure that you don't get soft light. You gotta make sure that you diffuse it. So let me show you what my key light looks like. So I did lie a bit. I am using aperture lights, which are professional video lights. But the thing is you can do this with a single directional lamp at home. So let me show you what my key light looks like. As you can see here, I have two apertures flashing in to literally a whiteboard up against my bed. What I mean by you can do this at home is you can literally just take a directional light and point it into the um, whiteboard. And what the whiteboard does is it makes the light source bigger. So the key to having soft light is to have a big light source. So that's why you wanna shoot it not at you, but into something white. It can reflect and hit you right in the face, but still be that soft light as you're seeing here. That's why cloudy days are super good for photographs and stuff like that, because the light is soft. It's going through this huge diffuser which is called the cloud, creating nice even light all along the face. So that's what my key light looks like. Moving on now, what you need is you need a fill light. Now I actually don't have a fill light with me because I don't wanna put a lot of lights into this video and I don't actually have any more lights to use. I'm using both my apertures on this reflector and you would be using a lamp or something. And then you can have a fill light. So with the, the lights coming from here, right? So this part of my face, my right, my right side of my face is gonna have shadows. What you want is you have a fill light. But the thing is, I don't actually have another fill light. So what you can do is you can use another whiteboard or another reflector, a piece of a piece of white, whatever, uh, I don't even know what this is. This is like an ad. It's a lemonade stand ad. And put it on the other side. And as you can see, the light will hit it and reflect and fill in my shadow. So that's what it looks like without. That's what it looks like with and it'll fill in the shadows. What I have is a whiteboard set up on the wall. This was automatically there, so you can kind of choose where you shoot your video so you can make sure you have those things already in place, or you can place another white foam core board, a nice white piece of cardboard, and it'll fill it in. Also, another option, if you want it to be more dramatic, is just don't even put a fill light and just make sure your, your shadows fall off and you properly expose the video. But that's pretty much the second light you're gonna wanna have if you wanna make nice, appealing videos. Now, once you have those two main lights, you're pretty good set up. You do wanna make sure your composition is good and you have good depth of feel from the background. And now what that means is you wanna make sure that the background is kinda of out of focus so people can focus on the subject, which is me. So as you can see, my background is slightly out of focus so it helps you pull your attention to me. You wanna make sure that your background is interesting. So what you really want now in your background is to make sure it's nice and lit up. What I call this is a background light. There's plenty of different terms for it. People, some people call it set lights. What a background light is, is what lights the background. So for example here, you can see in the background that kind of cool tone on the wall. That's my background light. That's what's kind of separating it the background from me because the background looks nice and yellow while me, I look nice and white, which separates it with the color contrast, things like that. You can make your background like blue, different colors like that. But what it does is it separates me from the background. So if you look here, I simply have a lamp light pointed towards the background here so that it shoots up against the background. That's what lights up the background. It doesn't even have to be that big of a light, but any single light can be a background light. If you even have a lamp, that's an all directional lamp. So let's say a simple lamp that shoots in all directions, then that's that can work as a background light just as well because it'll as long as it lights up the background with a different color temperature, it'll be a good background light. Now you do have to think on your creative touch, do you want a background light or do you want the background to be really dark 
so it can pull attention to me. Because if I turned off this background light, I'm a lot more visible in the scene. The background is no longer a distraction, but it does leave that contrast out. And now it's kind of bland to look at compared to if I had the background light on, lighting up that background, making it a little more interesting for the viewer. Now the last light and my favorite light, because it does really make a difference, is called a backlight. What a backlight is, is it's a light lighting the back of your face and creating contrast and pulling you out from the background. So my backlight right now is this little flashlight that you can see right here. It's anything, you can use literally anything. A flashlight works perfect because it literally just creates that nice rim light. If you see here, you see right along my neck, there is a slight increase in exposure here and that's what the backlight is doing. This light here is flashing right towards the back of my head to my hand, that's getting hit by the backlight. And just lighting it up so it kind of separates me, it has that line, that contour line of white that shows that I am not on the background, I'm not stuck to the wall behind me. I am separated, I am up front, separated from the background. Simple, as a flashlight, go like this, and you will light the back of your head. And that's what will separate me from, well from the background. So pretty much those are all the lights you need. A key light, a fill light, a backlight, and if you want, you can put in a um, background light. But those are all the options you have, and it's just a lot better than turning on your overhead light in your room and starting to film the video, because that's not as interesting to the viewers. That's a simple video. You can use anything you have at home. I'm sure you guys have all this stuff at home. If not, a quick trip to Home Depot, quick trip to the dollar store will be able to get you all the supplies you need for this. Start making YouTube videos today about whatever you want, about freaking how you make your pancakes, about your makeup, about your freaking soccer team, anything you want. Start making videos today, start creating. My name was Dax Brulé. I hope you guys learned something from this video. Subscribe, comment below, like this video, share all that stuff. I don't even care if you don't. I just hope you guys like the videos I'm making for you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one. Woo!